the final of the women's 400 meters. Like so many finals at this IAAF World Championships, eagerly anticipated because you just don't know which way it's going to go. The athletes will line up in lanes two to nine. And Popo of Zambia, McPherson of Jamaica, Milawebo of the Bahamas. That was NASA running through from Bahrain. Phyllis Francis, Williams Mills, Jackson, both representing Jamaica. Alison Felix from the USA, arguably the most complete female sprinter of all time. So fast, over 100, 200 and 400 meters. She's looking to defend her world title here. But in doing so, she renews her battle with Shawna Milowebo of the Bahamas. The world number one, Alison Felix this year, 49.65 seconds. At her best, 49.26 at a couple of seasons ago. Two tenths of a second ahead on lifetime best. The Milowebo will start two lanes outside up. But it really is, guys, a tough one to call this. You look back to the World Championships two years ago, it went Felix Miller. In Rio last year, it was reversed. By the narrowest of margins, with Miller Weibo throwing herself at the line, winning it by just a few hundredths of a second. It's a really fascinating battle, this one, because Alison Felix is one of the most majestic looking sprinters I think we've ever seen, male or female. She's been around at the top for such a long time, but I know she's still performing brilliantly and she could obviously still win this one. Are we just beginning to see maybe, maybe as she gets towards the last couple of years of her career, Mila Weibo, those few years younger, just 23 years of age, is it now her turn to shine and take that mantle from Felix on going forward? Well, it's a good ask. I mean, but I still think this is, as you said, one of the greatest sprinters we've ever seen. I agree. And I spoke to Cathy earlier. I think if she'd have run the four earlier in her career, we could have seen her getting close to that wonderful world record. But at the moment, you're right. She's not perhaps at her best. But having said that, it's still a talent, Rob. You can't dismiss it. That's Phyllis Francis, who's fifth in Rio last year, 49.96 this season. Only four women have gone under the magical 50-second barrier. Francis is one. What's your instinct then, Catherine? You've, you've won an Olympic medal in this event. You've watched them around the world for the last few years on the Diamond League circuit. Felix and Miller Weibo, how do you see this one? I genuinely don't know. In coming into the championships, I've been calling it as Mila Weibo just because of her 200 meter speed this season. There she is, 21.91 seconds she ran in Eugene at the Diamond League. But Alison Felix has a habit with even less races to get it right when it matters. It is too close to call the final of the women's 400 meters with the form of Nasser of Bahrain in lane number four in the semi-finals as well, running 50.08. It's going to be an absolutely cracking final. So we'll introduce the athlete shortly and then potentially in just under 50 seconds time, we'll have our world champion. There's your full lineup. Three athletes representing Jamaica, two Americans, to line up for the women's 400 meter final. Some familiar names, some new names. And starting on the outside, Kumbanji and Popo of Zambia. 50.6 seconds this season, African Games champion in 2015. Lay number eight from Jamaica. Stephanie Ann McPherson, bronze in 2013, fifth in Beijing, 50.56 seconds this season. 
Lane number seven from the Bahamas, the Olympic champion. 49.44 seconds at the best. The Olympic champion starts in seven. Phyllis Francis from the US in lane number six. 25 years old now. Just shy of a lifetime best that she set last year, this season. And in lane number five, the defending champion. Three times a 200 meter world champion, a winner of a record six Olympic golds, five in the relays, one in the individual, and a winner of nine world championship gold medals outdoors. Lane number four, 19 year old Sala Edi Nasser of Bahrain. Born in Nigeria, her mother's Nigerian. Her father is from Bahrain, in wonderful form in the semi finals. And then the evergreen. Novlene Williams-Mills. This is her sixth World Championships. Her best position, bronze back in 2007. And completing the lineup, Sharika Jackson. Bronze two years ago, behind Felix and Miller. She'll start on the inside line. So, the final of the women's 400 meters. Jackson, Williams-Mills, NASA, Felix, Francis, Miller Weibo, McPherson, and Popo. The defending champion, Alison Felix, in five. The Olympic champion, Miller Weibo, in seven. So it's a long hold, but it's a clean start in the final of the women's 400 metres. Felix and Miller Weibo both have gone out hard. Down the back straight, the American in five. She's closed down the stagger on her teammate, Francis Outsider. It's going to be Alison Felix at the 200 metre point with a lead. Round the top bend. Felix, Miller Weibo. We're going to swing into the home straight into the final. And it's going to be Shawna Miller Weibo in the lead, the Olympic champion. She's heading the defending champion. Miller Weibo, Felix, Francis, NASA. It's going to go to the wire. Oh, there's an injury to Miller Weibo. And 49.95 seconds, Phyllis Francis out of lane number six is the world champion in the women's 400 meters. Absolute drama in the final 20, 30 meters again. Miller Weibo, was she hurt? Did she stumble? Phyllis Francis, personal best, 49.92 seconds. She's the world champion. A national record of 50.06 seconds for NASA of Bahrain. And Alison Felix picks up the bronze in 50.08. Miller Weibo in fourth. Well, we just have to look at that again. It was drama right until the end, wasn't it? Whatever happened to Miller Weibo there? She was leading, looking comfortable, and then all of a sudden, something went. Maybe it was a hamstring. Let's just wait and see. Let's have another look. It was a great run up until that point where she had the problem. There she is, third from the left-hand side as we see it. And by the way, NASA ran a brilliantly controlled race. She's third from the right-hand side here, saved it all for the last 150 and came through brilliantly. Felix was aggressive down that back straight, I thought, and maybe went a little too hard. Look at Miller Weibo here on the left-hand side. She flies round that top bend, beautiful running. Watch NASA there, third from the right-hand side. You can see how powerfully she's coming through. And at that point, Francis begins to close. Watch Miller Weibo. It felt as though something just went. It's around about here. She starts limping, and I'm not even sure it was a stumble. Something just went. Looks and then, a bit like a hamstring, Rob, really. A slight hand, because she's holding her left leg pretty badly. And she's limping beyond the finish line. at such a shame. It really is. Here you'll get a closer look. Talk about injury denying her right on the verge. What a shame for her. Well, we'll keep an eye on the replay here. 
Felix had nothing more to give. Francis sensed that and passed a teammate. Mila Weibo here was in control. She was glancing to her left. What happened to the Olympic champion? Look at that left leg, Catherine. She wasn't able to extend it as she got towards the line and she'd had a little grimace there. Not the usual grimace, I think, that you'd see from an athlete suffering from lactic in the last few metres. I think something went inside her left leg and that was the problem. Phyllis Francis, though, a personal best performance. The American delivered when it mattered from her point of view. That's the fastest that she's ever run, lowering her personal best of 49.94 seconds. Fifth at the Olympics last year. It was a great run by the 25-year-old. Whatever was going on around her, she kept her focus and she powered through. Well, that was Another a real, medal for really, the US team. Sorry, Kat, that was a very strange race. I mean, the two big favourites really, both of them really suffering badly. I think Felix went off far too fast. Doesn't have the scene, doesn't seem to have the strength, as I said before, over the last 100 metres. Did all she could. She faded badly. But Mila Weibu, I'm still uncertain as to what happened there. I think she was really tired, but also she might have had a slight fall. I don't know whether she tripped over her own foot. You know what? This is the second major championships in a row that we need to wait to hear from Shawne Milowebo as to what happened at the finish line, right? After Rio last year and in this final here, Alison Felix, you don't often see her grimacing and running like with a face like that. But it is another championship medal for Alison Felix. The bronze in 50.08 seconds. Well, Phyllis Francis, well done to her. It was a super run by the American out of lane number six. Yeah, it's it, a, a fantastically time run for her. We were talking about it being maybe a changing of the guard, and OK, it didn't go to Mila Weibo. I actually think she may have caught her the top of her left foot on the ground, and that may have caused her a problem. But Alison Felix didn't catch her foot, and she finished third, so... Is it a changing of the guard? Is she going to be capable of coming back and challenging the likes of, of Francis in the future? Or NASA, who came through brilliantly for the silver medal with a national record. She ran a really, really smart race because she was so conservative on the first 150. And that is why she did so much damage to the rest of the field in the last 30 or 40 metres. Well, that's disappointing for Mila Weaver, but I think maybe the conditions, Kath, might be against it as well. I mean, it was very cold there tonight. Maybe she cramped a little bit. We don't know. We just have to wait and see. If we had a head-on shot, that would be absolutely wonderful to see if she potentially did trip over her own foot when she was bringing it through, because let's not forget she does have a habit of tiring badly, understandably so last year in Rio, running a lifetime best performance, and her legs just gave way when she fell over the line. So did she have lactic again? Did she trip over her own foot? Well, the shoes are off. It's definitely something on that left foot, and I, I just wonder, not sure whether we'll get a chance to see it again, I just wonder whether something went, or did the problem come when the top of her left foot hit the ground and then she lost all of her momentum. It was a problem, what, 15, 20 metres or so from the finish line. Up until that point, she'd run a beautiful race because the way she accelerated, Catherine, around that top bend was fantastic. Here we go again. Let's have a quick look. This time we concentrate on the feet. The left's down, the right's down, the left's down, the right's down. Oh. She, I think she did. She caught, she caught the top of her left foot there, and that's what. I don't know whether it then caused an injury or it just cost her momentum. I think it caused an injury because surely if it was just a stumble, she still would have finished way further up amongst the medals. That tip of that left foot just hit the ground, and that caused the problem. Oh no! So potentially a trip and the top of a foot that's caused Mila Weibo not to get a medal here at these World Championships. 50.49 seconds in fourth, but deservedly, Francis, Nasser and Felix. And Phyllis Francis on a lap of honour. Well, 
Her younger sister also competes in track and field. Second at the US Championships this year, getting through their brutal qualifying system. She's the world champion, but what a talent NASA of Bahrain is. Her own, she brought her own national record down from 50.88 seconds, which she set in Rio, 50.08 in the semi-finals, and 50.06 at 19 years old. That is a wonderful performance by her. And once again, in the last few events of these World Championships, we have talking points, we have drama, but of course, we have world-class athlete athletics. Wow. Gold then for Francis, a personal best run. Well done to her, 49.92 seconds. A silver medal for Bahrain, for Saula Edi Nasser. Then Alison Felix picks up the bronze for the USA. Another World Championship medal for the American.